We're gonna talk about the basics of saving and reading files in R, and it's gonna be the very basics, and it's gonna be really clear, and it's gonna make things really, really easy from here on out, I think, because um, I don't think I've seen it explained at the kind of this high of a basic level. So as always, I'm gonna load the library, the Tidyverse, and if you have watched the working directory um, video, or if you know about working directories, you know it's very important that we set our working directory first. We can do that with code, most people, I think, find it just as easy just to click around. I'm gonna double click on my directory. So I'll copy that code up here just to log it in the script. So I've set my working directory. I also have it pulled up here so we can look at kind of what's going on in there. And so, first of all, let's talk about settings. So if you hit Command, Comma, or if you go up to R Studio Preferences, people have pretty strong <clears throat> feelings about what these general preferences should be. So default working directory, I just have the desktop. If, I'm, if I don't tell it, assume the desktop. And then what's really important and people feel strongly about is a save workspace to our data on exit. And people feel strongly that you should do never because you should be making the decision of when you should, say, should save your data and save what's going on. And not just when you exit, that seems like kind of a lazy way. However, you do save the history which will save um, the code that you're running just in case you are gonna lose your code. You can look at the other way that I have things set up. Um, you also are not gonna restore the workspace. And so what a work a workspace basically is, is all of the information from what you've been working on. And we'll talk about that more. So this is kind of the opinion of how the settings should be. Now, what I'm gonna do is just, for example, I'm gonna create three objects. So the first thing I'm gonna create is X, which will just be a vector of the numbers one through 10. So I scroll down here. The next thing I'll make that, I'll make my iris, which will just be a duplicate of iris. And then I'll make my MT cars, which will just be a duplicate of MT cars. And so if I run all three of those things, I see them pop up here. If I look inside of each of them, X is just a vector the numbers one through 10, my iris is that data set, my empty cars is the empty cars data set. So I have a vector and two data frames, vector, data frame, data frame. And so a very common thing to do is save as CSV. And so I can take one of these data frames, let's do my iris, and save it as a CSV, which is a very comfortable format for Microsoft Excel and a variety of other programs to use, just a comma separated, comma separated values. And so the function is write CSV. I tell it what I want to write to CSV. And then I tell it the name of the CSV. And if I do that, it's gonna save it to my directory. I see it here, I can double click. I can go in and I have it saved. Now, there's kind of two disadvantages to writing as a CSV. It's very flexible, which is great. So a lot of programs can open it. However, I had three objects in here and I was only able to save one at a time in a CSV. And it only actually saves, at least safely, it only saves data frames. So if I try to take that X thing, which is just a vector, just a sequence of numbers, and error in is data frame is not true. So I'm trying to save something that's not a data frame. And so that didn't work. And so, the answer to that is, well, maybe we can save it as an R file, so something that R knows very well. And so what are these called are RDS. And so I'm gonna do save RDS, and then again, it's X comma, then I'll give it the name, X dot RDS. And so now if I go over here in my directory, I have this X, and that is basically the contents of the vector. So I can read it back in. Um, for example, um, you would do that with read RDS. So like, let's say I wanna read it into Y, which is gonna be a little bit confusing, but I would do read RDS of, and then give it the name of it, and it's gonna look in that directory. So now Y is also these numbers one through 10. And so just like that, and similarly, for the CSV, if I wanted to read that CSV in, uh, I've showed this before, but just as a duplicate, I would just give it uh, 
that's my underscore iris dot csv and i would tell it where to read into it so this is basically going to overwrite i already have my iris here this will basically overwrite it by reading it back in and so i have the csv which is nice because a lot of programs can open it problem was it can't save other formats other than data frames so it didn't work when we tried to save as a vector um, but thankfully we have rds which are kind of r files and i'm able to save it as an r file and that's nice but still i'm only able to save one thing at a time here i've literally only saved x where i have x my iris and my empty cars and now because i read x into y i now also have y so i kind of have four objects so you're wondering what if i wanted to save everything so let's save everything and what i mean by that is all objects i have four objects i want to save all of them at once and so think of this as we're going to take an image of the objects and all i can call this something everything and then the file format for saving everything is um, R data, so dot R data. And so if I run that, now I get this everything dot R data in here. And what that's basically done is take a snapshot of everything in my global environment, these four objects, and it saved them. And so let's say I wanted to load those back in. So I'm gonna clear. Now you'll notice I have nothing left in here. I don't have X, I don't have Y, I don't have my empty cars or anything like that, but I can bring it all back. And the way you do that is you do load and then give it the name of the R data file, everything.rdata. So you, now you notice as soon as I run this, those four objects will pop up here and I'll now have access to them again. Saved an image, um, I removed it when I clicked, and now I'm gonna load them back in. And so now they're all coming back. And so what's really nice about save image is in some cases you want to save everything that you're working with and so you just do save image give it a name and then you can load it back now sometimes you don't want to save everything and if you just want to be able to open it in r then save rds is a great um, is a great solution to that and sometimes you want to save just one thing but in a way that other programs like excel can use and so that would be write csv and read csv and so we can kind of just make a summary. So like, um, if you want one thing and flexible, use write CSV and read CSV. So write CSV, writes, read CSVs, bring back in. One thing, just R. Um, and so what was that? That was save RDS and read. RDS. Um, Hadley Wickham also has a read dot underscore RDS. I think. Let's just check that. Read underscore R. Yeah, oh, so it's a lowercase. Also has a read underscore RDS, which is a little bit more optimized, but either, either of those will work. And if you want consistency for name, you can just do that. And if you want to save everything, you do that save dot image and then just, and then load. And so that's kind of the, there's other ways to do it. You can save as SATA files, you can save as other things, but in general, that will hit 95% of use cases. And that's the way to think about things. Now, remember, I just gave it the name of the file um, in the string or in the, yeah, maybe it's called a string, but it's the thing basically in quotation marks. And that was because I'd set my working directory to this place. And so it assumed everything was in here. But if I had something in a different folder, I would have to give it the full, extension so let's say every i would want to load everything from somewhere else i would have to do like mm, slash desktop slash my directory slash something else wherever it was so i'd have to specify the full path if it wasn't in the working directory that i'm working in but that's the basic of saving and reading files